back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE action figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 93 Seth freaking Rollins and Cesaro figures. Now these are probably my two most anticipated from the set. Very happy to finally have an updated Cesaro even though we do have some issues with it. And then of course Seth Rollins is one of my favorite superstars in current WWE format man. So this is really exciting for me. Cannot wait to crack these guys out of the packaging. And if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure both of these gears are based off their match with each other at WrestleMania 37. So this should be a fun one, man, breaking into it. I was looking forward to both of these figures, so it should be an epic review. If you guys would like to grab these, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Do not use code FREESHIP. Use code MDTOYS and select Priority Shipping. I promise to God it's the best way. The figures will get to you much quicker, and if you buy like a nice size bulk of stuff, definitely use the Priority Shipping option. Don't even think twice about it. Use code MDTOYS, and you'll basically get free Priority Shipping when when you use code MD Toys. Nonetheless, man, looking at the front packages, you guys know we have our modern 2022 style packaging in the blue. You have Rollins here, Cesaro here. I like both their render images. On the sides, you do get a beautiful image of both talents right there. Cesaro looking crazy, man. Miss him. Miss him a lot. Don't know when he'll pop up, but I guess we'll have to see. On the back, we do get an epic shot of both men there. I would have liked to seen an interchangeable head sculpt like this on Rollins or like a serious, you know, hair down with the fade and like a thicker beard, but I guess we'll have to wait on that. And then you you have a, a lean looking Cesaro looking like a baller. And then if you'd like to read the little bio reads, you can pause it right now. On the other side, you do have their names, Seth Rollins and Cesaro. Authentic certified sticker. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. So with all that being said, let's crack Seth freaking Rollins and Cesaro out of their packaging. So here is Seth Rollins and Cesaro out of their packaging, spinning round and round as they like to do here in the reviews, right? They look very good. I do like what we got going on. I do feel that like the quality as far as just like the way that these figures represent the talent on television, I feel like they're getting better and better at that, but in some instances, I feel like we're taking some steps backward, and we're going to get into all of those different things, man, as we break it down. What we're going to do first is get into Cesaro's accessories and then take a look at Cesaro, look at some comparisons of his figures, and then we're going to take a look at Seth Rollins' accessories and take some closer looks at Seth Rollins' comparisons and his figure as well. We could very well be looking at the best figures of both Seth Rollins and Cesaro in this video. Will they hold up? Will they be the best figures of themselves? We are going to find out in this video, man. But with all that being said, let's crack open Cesaro's accessories and take a closer look. So getting into Cesaro's accessories, let's start off with the moneymaker right here. And I got to be real with you, man. Mattel has just been crushing it with these cloth accessories. I feel like every set now you get like three or four very nice cloth accessories and it's very sick man look at this jacket right here and it's like a overlay so you get these like nice sleeves going underneath this shirt right here so very detailed man i feel like even customizers would struggle with some work like this so they did a really good job right here you get cesaro right here in yellow i love the black and white colorway for the contrast on the sleeve it does say just swing it kind of reminded me of like a nike jacket or something like that but you do get these like nice tassels here just like to details man when you compare this to some of the cloth accessories like even in this wave we have a lot of cloth accessories and then you look at the elite series 92 91 and 90 how we've integrated so many cloth accessories it's just beautiful man like things like this Sami Zayn's jacket Raquel Gonzalez jacket from this wave T-Bar's jacket from this wave I mean they have went crazy but on the back it does say back in the swing Cesaro and now he's not back in the swing so I do like that silhouette right there though that's a very cool jacket really miss Cesaro man need to get him back on our televisions apparently no longer with wwe very very sad thought he was a lifer to be honest with you but we'll see what what happens there i don't think there's really room in aew i think he'd do fantastic in aew but i just don't think there's enough room over there man but there is his jacket you also get two pairs of interchangeable hands you get your pointing hands and both of them have ring fingers on there so you guys can see the ring fingers both have black rings on there so these look cool and then of course he has to come with mic holding hands so you get the mic holding hands with the same rings on there to know that it matches the figure but we've seen these a bunch but at least he does have mic holding hands. Alright man, so getting into the Cesaro, this is probably my, uh, I mean, I don't know, because it does look like Cesaro, right? We've just seen this head sculpt for an eternity, right? We have seen this head sculpt, I want to say, all the way back on his last Elite, which was almost 40 series ago, which is absolutely insane. I think it was Elite Series 57, right? It was him in the bar with Sheamus. And I like this head sculpt. Like, again, it looks like Cesaro. I think the likeness is good. I think that the facial hair looks good. All those different things. Like, it looks like Cesaro. He looks like a, an assassin or something like that. 
like that, which I do like. I think this Cesaro's nice. Head's very weird. Like, I can't look up. I wish they had a ball hinge here. If they would switch their technology to a ball hinge, maybe that's what they're looking at, you know, as far as ultimates, like improving, to, you know, the, the articulation. Like, I can't think of anything else, you know, they talk about improving the articulation. I really don't know how else you could do that, but a ball hinge on the neck would be really sick. Anyways, this guy has a really interesting formula, man. He has a really interesting formula. You guys can see here, I'm pretty sure they used an Elite 91 Hulk Hogan from the neck down until you get to the boots. So that's why you're seeing like these really jacked arms and shoulders. And while the, like I kind of like it low key, I kind of don't like it. I feel like it creates like a really weird, see how jacked the arms are compared to the torso and then you get into the legs. I'll zoom out in just a moment. I do like these trunks here. Like the gear they chose is the gear I think I wanted for my next Cesaro. I think I tweeted about it. I said, I want this in figure form. We need this jacket in cloth. We need this, you know, the yellow and black. I don't know if they take what I say into consideration, but I like to think they do. Nonetheless, I love the Cesaro logo here. I like the way the trunks look, but they have these weird textures on them. So like on the back, that would make sense to have that, those wrinkles right here, right on the butt cheeks. But like when it gets to the front right here, I guess the texturing is not the big deal, but the, you do get that big gap there, man. So look at that big gap you get right here between the trunks and the torso. Like that's not accurate at all. That's kind of weird. It looks like he's wearing like a big diaper piece or something like that. So I think that's a bit odd. I do like the texturing on the tights though. Like I think that's realistic. I think you get an extra element with that. But the gap that you get there is weird. You do have the black wrist tape over here. But the formula is just a weird formula. I just think it's a weird formula, right? Like I think it, it looks pretty damn good on camera from this angle. He's jacked, bro. Like when you get this figure in hand, you will realize how jacked he is. He really is. He is on ball joints. This is the first Cesaro figure to ever be on ball joints, I'm pretty sure. Maybe the Elite 47 was on ball joints, but I want to say this is the first one ever. So it is the Hogan formula. The knee pads are completely inaccurate. This is not what his knee pads look like. Like He didn't have the large knee pads on there. These like medium sized ones. You do get the yellow and black. You got a little uh, paint chip in there. Paint bleed, but not bad. You got the Cesaro logos. These were open knee pads, I'm pretty sure. So that's kind of bothersome, but the boots do look cool. I like the way the boots look a lot. I think this is a new sculpt with the stuff going down. These boots are also really thick. I would have liked to have seen them line up with the calves because they're skinny boots. Like they tie around the calf and it would have been cool to see them kind of like Bianca Belair's boots, right? Like they're really thin. The Ultimate Edition Charlotte, how they hug right here and they are like straight down and that you don't get this big gap here and they don't look all bulky. It would have been really cool to see them get that like really symmetrical and line up perfectly and have the paint apps. I think that would have made the boots look really sick, but I still like the way the boots look. The yellow and black looks really clean. I'm just struggling with this formula because I can't decide if I like it or not. I know you got a lot of weird stuff going on with the crotch. I think he just needs a new crotch. Him, I think him and Hogan need a new torso because I don't think it really fits. Like, I guess it, it fits because he's lean, but at the same time, I don't think in figure form it looks that great. It kind of creates like some big disparities between the size and the scale, but I do like the figure. It's very weird. It's very weird. You get that big gap and then like the arms. You know how big they make the shoulders, right? I like that they gave Cesaro big shoulders, but when you try to articulate this out, the arm gets loosey-goosey because it's so tight. When you try to put, like, look at that. I'm trying to push this down. It's not going, and then my arm gets super loose right here. And the shoulders are so tight, bro, it's hard to even spin it. Oh, my God, dude. Like, oh, my Jesus. So that's a big issue, man. I Like, I like the tight shoulders, but that's way too big, man. That is definitely way too big because then uh, when you try to articulate it, then you end up with gappage in the arm. I don't know. It's hard to say, but I do like the Cesaro figure. It's just uh, there are some stuff that I don't like, and I think some things that are going to lead to some loose parts here in just a matter of moments, so that is bothersome. Now, for your Cesaro figure comparisons, guys, here is the Elite 93 up next to the Elite 57, I think it is, and it's just very weird. You guys can see here how much bigger this guy is. Like, look at the arm difference. Look at the shoulder difference. Like, I'm glad they made him bigger because he is massive. He's like 6'5", 235 or something like that, but changing drastically in the formulas here. This is the only Elite Cesaro I'm remaining with because I always fix mine up or change them or, you know, break them down for parts. So I do need to get my hands on some of those older figures. I've owned them all. I just always use them for customs and stuff. So that's the reason why I do not have more to show you here. So I've always just hung on to this one and then picked up this new one here. So that's just uh, like, dude, there's a huge disparity between the two. It's kind of ridiculous how much different they are. I just think that these shoulders are going to cause you a lot of problems when you're trying to articulate and then the arms are going to get really loose or the shoulder is going to get really loose. That's my biggest worry with this Cesaro figure. Now for Seth Rollins accessories, I, you're probably wondering why we're looking at it like this. It's because I want to see how poseable this jacket is, show you guys exactly what you're getting here. He also comes with mic holding hands. You get the gloved hand on the right hand that does have the skin peg, which is annoying, but you also get the, uh, you know, the mic holding hands. And then you have like your re 
reached out. Kawhi Leonard shaking, you know, handshaking hands there. But this jacket is nice. I do like the texture going on with it. We'll zoom in in just a moment. But it's the exact same material as the Undertaker ringside exclusive shirt. You know how, like, it's kind of poseable. It's kind of moldable. It's very shiny. It's got a real slimy-like feel to it. It feels a bit weird. You do get your fur going on right here. It's very easy to pull off, you know, stuff like that. But uh, you're not going to get, like, a ton of poses. It's not, like, super poseable. It is better than the stiff jacket where his arms are out to the side. But you're not going to get, like, groundbreaking changes. And I feel like I'm, I'm worried that they're going to use this, this material for jackets and stuff like that moving forward to be like, you know, well, it's poseable. It's not stiff anymore. And they're going to use that as an excuse to use this all the time instead of the cloth. Hopefully that's not the case. But I would have much rather seen this in cloth. I think cloth defeats all. This is definitely not, uh, I mean, if the, ha the sleeves were hacked off, it'd be a different story. And this does have like a weird like connector piece. You see that? Like, you can literally pull that apart. So that is kind of weird, but I don't know. It, it does pose, but it's not like super poseable or anything like that. It does hold its shape for a little bit there, but it's not anything. I, I don't know. It's just, it's not my favorite. I would definitely prefer cloth over it, but I guess it is a little bit better than a regular rubber coat there. But I did want to pull this off and take a look at the texture. So you guys can see here, you get all the wrinkles. You get the nice padded stuff going on. Like it looks good and everything. Again, it's a little bit better than the regular rubber. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those old DBZ figures. If you guys know what I'm talking about, where you like put the thing inside of the thing. I'll try to pull up images as I talk about it there, but that's the kind of feel that it gives me, if you guys remember those. Pliable, stretchy material, you guys can see there where it's separating. I don't know, man, not bad, but something I probably still won't use. So getting into Seth Rollins' head sculpt, I like this head sculpt a lot. I think it does hold the likeness right there. I like the man bun and the thick beard and the way he looks. My eyes look good. My fade looks good. The, the man bun looks really good. I like the Seth Rollins' head a lot. I think it does look like him. I would have liked to seen an interchangeable, you know, long-haired, you know, hair down head sculpt. Another thing is where's our Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins in the Thanos gear? Where's our Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins in the Mania 34 or Mania 36 gear? We need our Ultimate Edition Seth, man. We need Ultimate Edition Randy Orton. We need the Ultimate Edition AJ Styles. We need some modern characters in these lines. I feel like all we get is flashbacks. I would really like to see some modern guys in these lines, but at the same time, I am digging this figure right now. I'm loving that I finally have an official double-jointed Seth Rollins. I don't like that skin peg. Gonna have to replace that, but I like the double-jointed arms. Feel nice nice and good. Double jointed arms, you know, change the world, even though they've been around since cavemen times. Chest hair looks good. Stomach hair looks good. I do like the new leg mold that we're getting here for Seth Rollins. It makes him a lot more proportionate. It, likes, it look, makes it look a whole lot better. You got your designs going around. Not my favorite gear whatsoever. I definitely would have preferred a lot of other gears over this one. And not only that, but the reds are wrong. You got your little Rollins portrait on the side with the square and the color red that this is on the tights right here that's on this Rollins portrait. That's the color red that it's supposed to be all around. So the SR logos and the black and the red all here, it's supposed to be this bright color red. So they definitely got the red color wrong. And then he does have a new kick pad mold here. You guys can see there, you got the kick pad molded there up the front. You got some nice designs going on. So it is a new formula. It's a brand new formula. He looks really good and it is quality. I can't wait to see what other figures look like with, you know, this new formula as far as, you know, not just Seth Rollins, but other guys. Like I'm sure they're probably gonna use these kick pads on AJ Styles. Maybe they're in the process of giving us a new AJ Styles mold. Maybe they'll update his torso. That's why I kind of want just an Ultimate Edition AJ, and then you can go back and fix up all your Elite AJs with the new Ultimate AJ torso, because that's that's really why I don't like AJ Styles figures. I know it's kind of a tangent, but the Seth Rollins looks really good. I, I like this figure a lot, and my only issues with this figure are really just the colors of the tights. They are completely inaccurate, but the figure feels good in hand, and since we uh, have a new Seth Rollins, we do need to take a look at some articulation. He's still on ball joints, which is nice. You get the upper thigh cut. Double jointed knee feels good. You do get the kick pad rotation. You don't have that ugly cuff thing going on anymore, which is just so crazy. I felt like we'd always have that. Really wild, man. I like it. I like it a lot. I think the Rollins is very badass. So for your Seth Rollins figure comparisons, guys, here's the Elite 93 in the middle, and then you do have the Elite 86 fix up. You have the top talents we got not too long ago. You have the other top talents with a fix up. This is kind of what this figure is based off of, you know, just kind of like a Monday Night Rollins sort of gear. And then you have the fan takeover over there. Honestly, man, when you see this figure up next to the rest of the Seth Rollins, you're going to be very bothered by, by the small legs. If you weren't bothered by the small legs before, you're really going to be bothered by it now. It really does bring out a lot of issues, man. Like, it's kind of wild how different it is and how much better it looks with the thicker legs, which is kind of crazy, man. Like, look at this right here. Look at that difference, man. That's insane.
insane. Look how tiny these legs are. It's kind of ridiculous, and it helps with the height because Seth Rollins is 6'1", and this really, you know, adds some height, makes him feel like a bigger superstar and stuff like that. But look at those legs, man. Look at the difference here. Here's the difference in kick pad, you know, with your little cuff thing, and then, like, the molded-on kick pad itself just kind of ridiculous man that is so insane how much different that looks and then for a quick fix up in the middle of this video you guys know that elite heads do pop off so i'm going to pop off the elite 93 and i'm going to put it over here on the elite 86 and see what that looks like immediately if you guys want to do this fix up and yeah that looks pretty damn good we'll say probably i mean the head probably looks a little bit big with these legs but it's not a huge deal i think that looks pretty damn good so if you guys wanted to put that head sculpt onto your elite 86 you could do that but you're gonna have to heat up the elite 86 man god i feel like like every Rollins needs to be re-released now. You're gonna have to, yeah, you gotta you gotta remake every single Rollins with updated legs. Why did they have to do that? Now my collection feels ruined. Jesus. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 Elite Series 93 review on Seth Rollins and Cesaro, man. Had a lot of fun with the review. These figures aren't perfect by any means, but I think the Seth Rollins is a lot better than the Cesaro. Also, I'm noticing, I'm pretty sure this thing is missing some deco on the Seth Rollins. Like on the back side of the tights, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have that same line is on the front with the SR, so that is kind of worrisome there, but at the same time, I did have a lot of fun with the review. I think this the Cesaro is so good, but at the same time, it has some wacky stuff going on with it. I think that, you know, once those shoulders, if they weren't so damn big, I love the striations on them. I love how big they look because Cesaro's a jack guy, but gum, man, those shoulders have me very worried. I think you should grab both of these. It's probably the best version of both these characters that you can get, but they are are not without their faults. There are some faults with them, stuff like that, but uh, if you've been holding out on a Seth, man, this is the one to get. It has the fixed legs. It has double jointed arms. It has a beautiful head. We are going to get new heads and new basics and stuff for Seth, and that's going to be awesome. I'm hoping we get a new Ultimate Edition or something shown off at San Diego Comic-Con because we haven't had a Seth Rollins figure in a little bit now, and now that we've gotten the Elite 93, I need to see more gears. I need to see other head sculpts and stuff to fix up our older figures. It's just a lot of stuff going on there, man, so we'll have to check on that and everything like that but thank you guys so very much for watching i'd love to know your thoughts if you'd like to grab these go over to ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like the cesaro formula formula definitely crossed the line since the probably the Krabby patty formula you cross the line